I'm back, baby. Oh, I'm back, baby. With part two of this Baldur's Gate 3 chaos run. Run! Run me alive! That's right, this is part two, so if you haven't seen part one... Oh, come on, hurry up, will you? Because we can't wait all day. And if you don't know what makes this a chaos run, here's a short little recap for you. I'm, I, I don't care, I'm not gonna die. Then I've no choice. Oh God, oh God, I'm oh sorry. God. One. They are my horde. Oh my god. Together we shall feast upon you. you. I'll take my chances without you. Clear off. Without further ado, let's get into it. We rejoin our chaotic dragonborn victor on his way down to the Underdark, a mysterious place with danger at every corner. Do I really want to fight you? <laughs> hmm. Unbeknownst to Victor, the danger would even follow him into camp. Oh, hi! I thought you'd help oh, me. Oh, God. Instead, you chose this. Howsome. Oh, now let's talk about this, Adam. Now it's nothing but blood and ashes. Thanks to you. You're welcome. Tell me. <laughs> don't was don't it ask worth me that. It? Please. Please don't ask me that. Oh, my God. Victor. <gasps> Victor, why? Jeez Louise. I hate fighting druids. Hey? Hey? Hey. It's a bear. Lazelle, help me. I'm so sorry, Halson. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm in pain. What you got on you? That night, Victor went to sleep pleased as he managed to protect himself from all of those dangerous companions. Once Victor dealt with the danger outside his doorstep, um, see what he does. Yep. Poor little Sir Flusselumpsel. Okay. Well, that was fine. He stumbled upon a colony of mushroom individuals. Hey, mushroom people. I got seven potential purposes, and I'm actually here to hum a peaceful tune in harmony with the Sovereign. He hummed a little tune and seemed to want to extend a helpful hand for once. Do you know what I got to say to that? I sense your fear. I've come to aid you. Turns its gaze to you. Hey. He met with the Sovereign Spa and was shown a violent vision of Dwegers hacking at mushrooms. Overwhelmed with potential choices in his head, Victor chose the right one for him. I got so many choices, so many ways to mess up. Okay, bye. <sighs> you know, <laughs> you know, Victor, I don't understand you. Victor then met Blur. Five, okay, Victor is not in a talking mood today. And then Dareth, who inquired about her missing husband. Can you describe him? Bald, blue tunic, dumb as a stick. <laughs> it really seemed that Victor couldn't care less, though. Ah. Uh, bye. <laughs> wow. Victor then met Glut and made sure to properly introduce himself. Um, blanket. Oh God. Ah. It shudders. Twisted <laughs> by your brutal honesty. From there, Victor and the team's exploration in the Underdark was halted by some Dwegars. Too loud, sun scum. Heard you stumbling. Can hear you blinking. You can hear me blinking? Noise. I'm not doing anything. I just want to leave. You're a liability, hookbait. I'll decide how many steps and breaths you've got left. Uh, Victor, you know, maybe just talk to the man. Don't try to leave. Just okay. You can attack him, I guess. That's a choice. Seems like the best way. See you later. Don't hit him. Don't hit the man. Dang it. Dang it. You know, why does everybody get hit really well with their stuff? My stuff doesn't hit that well. You know, Victor, you get us into a lot of shit that I don't really want to deal with. You guys absolutely suck. He's unconscious already. Already? Cool, so... Everyone's dead. All my companions are dead. 
Every last one of them withers. After a quick stop at camp to see withers, the team was back in action. We're back. We back and we've been revived. There we go. Oh, that was so much. After the fight, Victor couldn't wait to get back out there. Oh, okay. Guys. Down below, Victor took a brief detour to talk with some fish friends. For I am Bual, Lord of Murder. Oh, <laughs> natural 20. Shut your rotten mouth. They spoke a plenty of power. so much clapping in the we background. Blessed Bual. What? The crew then found themselves in a building called Arcane Tower. After nearly being cooked by lasers outside, some of the crew had some poignant thoughts. Father, they will die for you. Okay. You also, um, you know, big fan of our father? Victor found an interesting pendant with Gith Yankee writing on it. Too bad he's not a Gith Yankee, though. If only I had somebody that knew what to do with the something. On the top floor of this tower, Victor met a construct who recited a poem, one that Victor knew very well. Opening stanza of an old play, The Roads to Darkness. <laughs> but I'm sure Victor's not going to say that. No, he's gonna attack while it waits for an answer, Victor. You're testing me. Come on. <gasps> yes! <laughs> we don't need you here. <laughs> One fight and looting montage later, Victor found a curious wand. Crooked wand of fireball? Huh? Use an action to cast fireball from this broken wand. All very nearby creatures must make a dexterity save. If our targets take that much on a fail save or half as much on a successful one. Wow. That is so dope. I think it's probably going to end up killing me. Eventually, Victor stumbled upon Balin, the missing husband. Three, turn away. Ah! Bye bye. Wait, please hear me out. One, hold tight, I'll find you back. Victor agreed to help the man and went to work. No, 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 no! <laughs> he almost made it! Eh, yeah, well. I said I would try to get his bag, I didn't say I would succeed. Victor then loaded onto a boat and lived out his pirate dreams until he was interrupted by more Dwegars. Or so Victor would say, victims. You, what are you doing on Gex Raft? Athletics, push the Dwegar into the water. You have a minus one. Okay. Get him, fellas. I didn't even try. Did I get scared? Oh my god. Victor! <laughs> Victor! <gasps> Why? She's about to get her shit rock. Yep. Victor has made this playthrough very, very hard. I have died more on this playthrough than I've died on any other playthrough I've done. <laughs> Oh my god, I killed Victor. <laughs> wow. Leave me. Bye. Okay, we did it. Only had to die one time. Once the corpses were thrown into the river, Victor set sail again, finally making it to Grimforge. Hello. Victor eavesdropped on a conversation. Goodbye. Met an eloquently spoken man. Rocks. A man of many words. And found himself moments away from death. I swear to Iron Hand, 
One more step, and a blow is to chunks. Oh, good. If I was a true soul, you'd be dead. Stand down before you hurt yourself. Shit. I can't do it. I can't believe Victor didn't blow Go us on. up. Drag me to moonrise. I'll make you cold enough to suffer. Why'd you ruin a good moment? Oh. <laughs> But that part was just a dream, and this is all what really happened here. I'm not taking you anywhere, you're free to go. Better, Victor, better. We're learning. You're learning things. No such thing in Grimforge is kind hearts. Spit out what you want, and let's be done with it. D Victor, don't say what I think you're gonna say. Okay. Victor was asked to aid the stonemason. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> and then this herd master. Uh, three. I know these creatures will. You should give them another last of the cane. No, Victor. Not animal abuse. He then went back to his favorite pastime of eavesdropping. Hello. Should we take Nia's debt off him? Goodbye. And also stared at some feet. I don't have time for drug no outsiders. Victor. Victor. Seriously. What are we gonna do? Victor then blew up a cave collapse and voiced his strong opinion. Stop, no more innocents die today. You care for the weak true soul. Let the absolute save him. I wanna say five so bad. Three. Say nothing. Which landed him right into another fight. Only by your ego. Victor, this is what happens. Oh, she's just dead. That's fine. <laughs> Why are you so tiny and can shove him? He's only got two hit points. Well. Yep. Wow, she's so good. Hey, I love this. I love not being able to use any of my companions. <laughs> hey, Victor. Never mind. I'm still coerced by you. I broke the game. I can't do shit. Stop it! Where for art thou, my bony friend? Withers, guess what? There's some stuff I need your help with. Give me the money, Withers. Thanks, Withers. Bye. We're back. We took a rest. What does that mean? Oh, please stop. What? Why? I'm just gonna go. Yes, die. Die in that hole. Get the eyeball! Yes, we did it! Oh lordy lord. After a hard-won fight, Victor explored War of Grimforge, picking up molds and losing party members along the way. Oh! <laughs> what? What happened? Wretched thing. How Put are you still together. on it? Everybody else fell off. Well, you don't really have any. Into, Into the bloody fray. The team gathered some mithril ore, some molds, and began using this ancient forge. I feel confident, me. more confident than usual. The excitement was unbearable, and this team just could not stand still. Oh, look at my friends. Are you guys okay? Sir did the honor of turning on the lava for this forge, and this is the moment he wished Withers never brought him back to life. Hi, Grim. Okay, she's dead. She's just dead. Ah, uh, why? You gotta go over here, bud. This is so fun. Okay. Didn't know you were going to do all that. Does my hand get to go on the same turn? Because if so... 
What do you mean my hand doesn't get to go on the same turn? The fuck? I'm gonna lose my shit. Ugh. Please, just walk over there. Don't walk around it. Hit him again. He's done. Great, thank God. Rest in pieces. Yay! We did it, everybody. Ah, 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 no, no. Okay. You? Okay, fuck. The construct was eventually defeated and the team got their new pieces of equipment. You're fine now. With that done, Victor had no more business in the Underdark. He ventured back to the surface and towards the mountain pass. There was a brief family reunion for Victor Dragon before he was interrogated. Please, Voss, Walking would you right be within my tell me. Why shouldn't I run you through this instant? Uh, please, Victor, say a good thing. I don't know you, I'd pose no threat. Uh. Okay, um, I'm gonna try again. Damn it. Try again. Hey! Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Quite like it when you talk dirty to me. You need to start from the beginning. What is this weapon you're after? Do not speak. Your bleating offends okay. my ears. Just stand still. Okay. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gesture. Victor, I'm gonna need you to chill. We can't attack everybody because they're doing sign language or some other kind of gestures. He just insulted you, he insulted me, all of us. It seemed the unknown gestures spooked Victor and another fight was to be had. <laughs> Why are you carrying your thing like that? After the slaughtering, Victor found another trinket, one that told him about a gift Yankee crush. This must be the crash that Lazelle seeks. You mean did seek? Back at camp, Victor found a new belonging inside his pocket, which probably delighted him. Hi. You recall seeing Shadowheart with it before, but how do you now have it? Oh no, she did? The next morning, this woman was inquiring about a gift Yankee egg, which Victor agreed to collect. Uh, well, you failed to get the egg, so I guess we'll never know. Perhaps you could help me then. Three. Fine, but I want payment. Hey, That was- that's a shit amount of money. Then more fighting. Ugh. Please don't bring him back. Stop it. Stop hitting him. This man's trying his best. Um... At this point, I want to shatter myself. Okay. Useless, Victor. Useless. Everybody focus. Okay. I can't help you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> now, I haven't, I haven't been on the game in a hot minute. <laughs> and I loaded to a pile of corpses. And uh, two of my members, one hit point away from death. <laughs> Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Well, he can live. He'll realize all of his friends have been murdered. Sweet. Okay. Gonna leave. Oh. <laughs> Two attack. Great. It's an AC of 13, y'all. Like, it's not that hard. Eventually, Victor made it inside the Gith Yankee crash. State your purpose quickly. Okay, Victor. Can we, um, say something that won't make me have to fight this whole crash right now? That's not quite nice. Here, Victor fought with doors. Don't close the door, Victor. Watched a murder. and figured out he doesn't want kids. We're busy. Two, you should stop doing that. It's not nice. Mm, no. Yeah, stupid kids. Utter waste of time. At least we're not boring like you. I feel like Victor's far from boring, to be honest. He spoke with the crutch's doctor and made up a story about a fake friend in another town who had a disease that Victor was also going through but didn't want to tell her about. 
uh, to not me personally, but my friend does. I'm trying to find a way to help them. And you expected charity from us. She was a gift Yankee. A unique <laughs> specimen. She's currently right. down for the count. My camp. is peak. Victor seemed disinterested with the doctor, so he went and spoke with the captain, who seemed to only care about finding the prism that was now in Victor's pocket. Join in this mad hunt for an ancient relic. We all know how this story ends. Three. Really? We gotta do this again? <laughs> He's playing a song, stop it. I'm sorry. Okay. If you just cower in the corner. Oh my god, it missed everybody. That is so fucking stupid. Oh my god. Get the fuck away from me. Oh, you did it. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Holy guacamole save. That was so much. It wasn't quick or easy, but the captain and the guards were eventually disposed of. Victor placed this nice shard into the slot and followed after the Inquisitor he saw before. But not before a quick sleep at camp. Hey Inquisitor, what up bitch? When Victor finally met the Inquisitor, it seemed that the conversation was going well. The weapon. Give it to me. Three. This weapon, what does it do? What business is that of yours? What do I get in return if I give it to you? But of course, all good things must come to an end. I won't let you take it. That's the victor I know. I propose a drinking game where every time victor gets us into bad situations, if you all wish to, you know, head out of life now. Yeah! These parry bitches hurting my feelings. Make myself big! Big me. Oh my god. The worst use of big me ever. Can you guys stop? Okay. <laughs> Since Victor was bleeding out on the floor, one of his companions took over conversing with Lacketh. Let's see. She's thinking, what would Victor say in this moment? Friend, I came to bring it back to you. Victor would not say that. An unexpected son. One. So the dream visitor is inside the artifact. I can't kill them. They protect me from the absolute. You are being lied to. I will be obeyed. Then why are you yelling? I'm not yelling. Uh, no. In fact, maybe I'll free the one inside. Now you're thinking like Victor. Victor and his companions then went into the astral prism just as Blacketh had requested. Is that the moon? Victor spoke with his dream guardian and made his intentions clear. To explain now or I'll do what I do best. <laughs> Never a truer statement. What reason have I to deceive you? <laughs> I want the same thing as you. Um. <laughs> Victor was then faced with a choice to spare or kill his dream guardian. The right decision seemed clear. Good soul. One, I told Black if I wouldn't kill you, I meant what I said, get up. Well, Victor, but maybe Victor had a change of heart. It seems I was right to put my faith in you after all. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, it had two evil eyes. And Once out of the astral prism, Victor claimed his reward for puzzle solving and slaughtering. With all that behind him, he finally began his journey to Moonrise Towers. 